What's up everybody, Moses here. Um, in today's video I'm just going to show you uh, what I did. It was basically changing from Witch to Scion. I had a cast while channeling Witch, remember that? With the uh, Frozen Orb, uh, Winter Orb, whatever. You channel Winter Orb, you throw Ice Spears while you're channeling the Winter Orbs. Uh, and you get that from the castle channeling, more spell damage, the staff that we talked about, uh, and all that kind of setup, castle channeling, which still the same exact setup. Uh, we got our mark of the shaper, warlord's mark, uh, ring over here, the negative cold reds helmet, the you know the boots with the L pen, the uh, uh, multiple uh, you know the multi modded gloves. Everything that we used, uh, except we are Scion now. And what does that mean? Is that instead of going full elementalist, uh, we are just and you know straight up better getting the elementalist benefits, which is cannot take reflect elemental damage, and 10% uh, elite pen and increased effect of heralds. So heralds are doing more damage, um, <clears throat> and increased effect of shock, but. Uh, we're also getting the benefit of being Raider and also uh, getting the movement speed, a uh, small chance to dodge, uh, additional onslaught while on full frenzy charges and chance to gain frenzy charges. So we are on permanent onslaught plus permanent maximum frenzy charge uh, when fighting against bosses, which is the big deal because this is an over elder farmer. Now on top of that, we have uh, easier access. The I did the math for you. Uh, I did the math. The Scion is getting you know uh, plus one, plus one, uh, plus one, plus one, plus two, right? So that's six additional skill points that the Scion is getting just by being Scion. And with these six additional skill points, you can get into you get much easier access, obviously, to Constitution, which is the biggest life node uh, in the video game. And you get uh, easy access to a natural instinct placement over here that gives us all the, you know, spell damage. Uh, cast speed, which is very good for our build, 9% cast speed. There are 4% and 4%, uh, so 8% life over here. And the 45% uh, crit multi, which is pretty huge. Uh, for us as well. So unnatural instincts and additional jewel socket and uh, you know the projectile damage nodes, some resistances and constitution over here. So overall I believe that this is a way better way like just straight up more efficient way of playing this build and I decided to go for it and uh, I'm enjoying it very much. So this is just a small little update why Scion is just better for these type of builds. You know, you can always choose whatever ascendancy you want. It doesn't have to be Raider. You can go Pathfinder for flask efficiency. You can go Assassin uh, for additional crit chance for all sorts of cast on crit builds. This is what we did, what I did with the cast on crit uh, build that I scrapped because this is essentially the cast on crit character. Um, yeah, so I scrapped it, um, selling most of the gear already. Um, you could you could pick whatever ascendancies you want. You can pick two ascendancies, and you can get the path of the insert class name here, and then get a more efficient tree. So this is kind of like just a short little update, just on what I did, how I did it, uh, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This build is actually insane, and I'm gonna do some more worlders uh, with it until I don't know. I come up with a different build. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Uh, see you guys on stream.